What's good, Rizzle fam? You know, it appears that the YSL boys are causing damage even behind bars. A number of YSL members were accused last week of stabbing inmates, and Thugger felt some type of way about it. News came in the other day that three guys whose names are associated with the famous ATL gang YSL have been causing some trouble, both to the law and to the inmates who are serving time. These people seem to be causing trouble wherever they go, and jail is no different for them. Apparently, one inmate was stabbed to the chest by a guy who's connected with the YSL, and it's highly unlikely that he'll ever get out of prison. Now. All these young Slime Life members are waiting for all their trials to begin. The record label turned Street Gang was indicted last summer, and their fate is yet to be decided. Every person that was brought in will face his own separate trial. That means that some might get more time, and some will get less. Some YSL members already got released after they took plea deals, though. Such was the case with other YSL members that took plea deals as well. However, nobody is quite as famous as Gunna, so it's kind of expected that he'd be the one taking the most criticism. However, there are other YSL members, like Thugger, who are still inside and waiting to see what's going to happen. For now, we can't say too many details, but we definitely already know that some of these people might not ever get out in their life again. One of the people who goes by the name of Christian Eppinger, who is definitely in a lot of trouble. This dude was arrested last year after he shot a police officer six times. As you can see in the video, he mercilessly let his gun bang after he resisted arrest. Luckily for everybody, the officer survived the bullet wounds, and he's still recovering from the massive injuries that he took. Officer David Rogers, who was a part of the APD gang unit, barely made it out. He even suffered an injury to his head because one bullet struck him in the back of his head. People online expressed their opinions quickly. This was a pretty big thing. The kind of people good people don't even care about when the cop handles these situations correctly. Most people just wanted the officer to recover quickly, so they wrote, hope he can recover from the injury, praying for him to recover quickly. Need to punish the criminals hard. And another person said, praying for his recovery. Keep him locked up. Gangs are a threat to society. Without any doubt, Christian is a menace to society, someone that should be dealt with. To make matters even worse for him, he was charged with yet another crime, and this one happened just just last week behind bars. Christian Ebender stabbed one of his inmates with a shack. The inmate was hit in the chest and he was rushed to the Grady Memorial Hospital where the doctors quickly took him in. The whole area where the incident happened was locked down because the officers were scared of an escalation. Safe to say with the charges that Christian Eppinger had to his name after he resisted arrests and almost shot an officer to death, combined with this one from just last Tuesday, it's very unlikely that Christian will ever walk out of jail free man. As for now, there are two other guys who are also caught slacking, and they too are members of the YSO gang. Their names are Damone Blaylock, aka Bali, and Rodalius Ryan, aka Lil Rod. Now, these guys were no saints by any means. Don't get it twisted, they're no better than Christian Eppinger. In fact, they might even be worse. They were also accused of charges of assault with deadly weapons, and to make it worse, they committed they took the life of Jamari Holmes, who was another gang member, presumably an op. And for those two YSL members, it might be exactly the same as with Eppinger. They're going to spend the rest of their lives behind bars. Now, the question is, how are these people connected with Young Thug? We don't know if they were carrying out orders, and that's why they ended up in the crime business. We're only going to find that one out later, once the trials reveal the truth about what really happened. What we know about Young Thug is that he would never put himself in a position this bad. There's no reason for him to ever do so. Perhaps that is the case, because he's got other people doing his dirty work for him. And perhaps because he's not that deep in the trenches. In any case, Thugger has loads of cash behind him that he can use in order to make ends meet and duck certain situations. And these three do not. Maybe they did do these vicious crimes because they thought there was no other way around it and it has nothing to do with Thugger whatsoever. Often, people believe that crime is the only way out of a hopeless situation and they end up making poor decisions in life. It's a deep and never-ending spiral. As for the stabbing incident and Christian Eppinger, well, he's already going to be staying behind bars for life for shooting a police officer. What does a stabbing incident change in the grand scope of things, right? No, not much. He didn't have much to lose, and the fact that he stabbed an inmate means less for him. One comment wrote, that's that slime life, man. You definitely have to have the same energy you had while you booked. Nothing to lose at this point. The YSL gang for sure had a problem with some bad influence and poor role models. This man understands why they took the ugly path, because he did it too, yet he found a way out. It's pretty crazy how you can go to jail for life because of bad influence and bad role model. This type of guy are surrounded by it and they learn from someone. I'm glad I changed my ways because I was going to end up like them. We hope that all the YSL crew are taking notes right now. Even though these three men are probably doomed since they won't be seeing daylight ever again, there are other members who can still change their ways. We pray and hope that the violence in the streets comes to a close and that the families of all the victims find peace soon. But what's y'all's take on this sad and disappointing situation that some of the YSL crew gotten themselves into? Do you think there's a way out for some of them or do you think that the consequences will be severe for the rest of the members? Including including Young Thug. Let us know what you think all about in the comments section below. Thanks again so much for watching. If you like this video, then make sure to make a comment, like, subscribe to our channel, and as always, remember to keep it rizzled.